So, you thought we wouldn't notice how you use strategy and tactics to beat us in Crucible. You thought you were clever making callouts that communicated information effectively to your teammates so that they could make the right move. Well, we reverse engineered your so-called tactics from observing you and the rest of the PvP population. What do you have to say to that, Shadow? Well, for the Traveler's sake. Reginald unfreeze him! Oh, right. Help! They are holding my sniper hostage! Answer, it! Reginald, interrogate him! What color is my underwear? Reginald! What? You've... You've never done this before, have you? M maybe Shut up! Reginald! Sorry. Today we will discuss this tactic I have seen players using in the Crucible. With it, they are able to multiply their individual skill levels by combining their talents in such a way as to minimize their weaknesses while maximizing their strengths. With this, we are able to accurately identify the core playstyle and personality of every player, what their engagement preferences are, how they will react to pressure, and what they will plan on providing to the team. The best part is, these players can't help but fall into one of the four categories, so we always know what to anticipate and how to counter their tactics before they do. <laughs> Did you get all that? I think so. Basically, we've been able to observe common behaviors and loadouts in PvP, and we can categorize them and promptly prepare for them. Basically, this system organizes people based off their skills and talents so they can best support each other. Very astute, my old friend. So what are we calling this tactic? Well, I figured because this system is designed to coordinate a team to take down another team like a pack of wolves hunting a herd, we could call it Wolf Pack. Uh, sounds a little cringy. I like it. What the? Who the hell let you in here? Uh, anyways, uh, there are four primary Wolf Pack roles. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Omega. There are only these four categories, but these are not set in stone. Each person will have a primary dominant playstyle, yet they are not mutually exclusive. One player may primarily rely on alpha tactics, yet switch to gamma when they are looking to shake things up for themselves. What's important is that because we can only ever take two weapons into the Crucible, we will only be able to fill one of these roles at any given time. Okay then. How do we identify each role? Simplicity itself, my friend. Is your opponent favoring aggression and close quarter combat tactics? Alpha. Are they focused on flexibility and dueling? Beta. Are they heavily emphasizing zone control and mid-range damage? Gamma. Are they hanging back and taking long shots while examining the battlefield? Omega. Is it that right, Shadow? So I'd say like the basic role of the Omega is to lock down lanes and like have a good sniper shot, but then also still play with your teammates and make sure you're supporting them. If you can lock down a lane while your teammates are in cover, but then make sure that you're also close enough to them that you can team shot and then push up with them when they decide to make a push on an enemy if they're more of a close range shotgun type of player. It's basically a balance between having that long range capability, but also being able to jump into supporting your team in a moment's notice. Uh, another essential part of that, especially when you're playing solo or in Rumble, is keeping your distance because if you're using something like Messenger Sniper or Scout Sniper or anything that's generally long range with a sniper, if you get into close range, you're basically screwed. So using your radar, using your invisibility, your ma radar manipulation, whatever you have in order to keep at long range is really essential. Basically, you can have other tools in your toolkit, like maybe a Wombo Combo or something if someone gets in close range, but your primary goal is just to keep people out of close range. Fight them at long range where you have the advantage. No one asked you, cover picker. Reginald, I asked him, stop hitting the hostage. Damn it, man. Sorry. Like I was saying, each play style, by the nature of it being impossible to play perfectly or have the perfect loadout for every engagement, will have natural weaknesses and counters. An alpha is fantastic at applying pressure to the enemy, but comes up short when faced with a heavy zone denying loadout like a gamma. Likewise, gammas are fantastic at defense in mid-range engagements, as well as supplying team support or suppressive fire. But at long ranges, like against an Omega, they lose all their advantage. And while the Omega can continue to keep the gamma at arm's length and pick them off from safety, 
As soon as they get close and personal with the gap closing alpha, they are defenseless. Uh, you forgot one. Did I? <laughs> the beta may not be countered by any role, but they also don't counter any role. Because their playstyle is entirely defined by their ability to adapt from moment to moment, their loadout is suited for everything and also nothing. They will always have a slight advantage against a role outside of their preferred engagements, but likewise they will also be at a slight disadvantage when they are fighting them inside their preferred engagement. So the classic jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Precisely. A team that is capable of communicating over a mic should try to have at least one of every role in a 6v6 environment, or specialize their team to match the map in a 3v3 environment, since they obviously can't take four players into a three-person activity. For example, I recommend Alpha, Beta, Gamma on a map like Cauldron, Beta, Gamma, Omega on a map like Vostok, an Alpha Alpha Beta on a map like Endless Veil. So, let's say I'm looking at the loadout of the enemy team. How can I identify their playstyle without seeing them fight? Well, while you can't guarantee that the enemy player with the scout and the sniper isn't going to do something insane, like try to play close quarters, here are a few examples. SMGs, sidearms, and hand cannons paired with a shotgun will likely be an Alpha. SMGs, sidearms, hand cannons, and a sniper will likely be a beta. Auto rifle, pulse rifles, and scout rifles paired with a fusion rifle will likely be a gamma. And auto rifles, pulse rifles, scout rifles paired with a sniper is likely an omega. Of course, there will be times where you'll be forced to make a judgment call. And it's important to remember that the loadout does not define the playstyle, but rather indicates what it's likely to be. This grape-headed warlock we were observing primarily plays Alpha, despite his primary weapon being a scout rifle. What he has done is incorporated some elements of the beta playstyle into his kit to better round it out. Something undoubtedly all players will do to some capacity. Yet even still, at a simple glance, a trained eye could identify the Alpha preferences of this player. The special weapon heavily influences your preferred engagements because of how strong they are in the game. Also, his astrocyte is a dead giveaway that he's looking to blink across space-time to close the gap. I like this system. Reminds me of Gambit Prime. Where the hell do all you people keep coming from? But that's not why we brought you here, is it, Shadow? Give us the Omega tip so the sniper rifle gets it. For me, my general Omega loadout would be like a sniper and then a pulse rifle like Messenger or a 120 hand cannon like the Igneous Hammer. And then I'd say some essential tips for that is keeping your distance like I mentioned earlier, but then also using the 40-60 rule, which is where you keep about 60% of your screen and 40% of your screen in and out of cover respectively. Peak shooting a lot in order to keep your distance and then play to that advantage in the long range while keeping yourself close to cover so that you can escape if you get pushed. I say we delete his sniper unless the Vanguard subscribes to the channel. I think that's a fantastic idea. Next time we discuss this, we will talk about how to reduce clutter in comms and looking into a different play style. Click here for a great Omega loadout to get yourself started. <laughs> what color is my underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah, you're you're perfect. It's beautiful. I love it.